welcome to this video we are going to talk about what web this is a tool that is present in kali linux what web is explained in details here so let's go to kali.org or kali tools here we are on kali.org slash tools let's search for what web this is one method of doing this you can either go back and come down here and these are the tools in kali linux and here you can see what web so i'll just click on it so if you go down here you can see that what web identifies websites and recognizes web technologies including content management system cms the blogging platform statistics analytic packages javascript libraries web servers and embedded devices now it says what web has over 900 plugins each to recognize something different it also identifies version numbers email addresses account ids web framework module sql errors and more and this is um, the installation file now for any reason you want to install it you have to use this option you have to copy this go to your kali and paste that and then you hit enter then it's asking for your password impute that and here it says what web is already the newest version so it means we are up to date so you can actually go down here to see more about what web this is a next generation web scanner identify technology used by websites now there is help you type what web help let's go and do that what web space dash h so when we go to the top here you can see that we can specify targets while using what web our target could be website url host name ip addresses file name or ip range in this form or it could be in this format then coming down to the aggression level we have the steel t which is level one this level one doesn't create a lot on the target then we have aggressive if a level one plugin is matched additional requests will be made then we have the heavy level makes a lot of http requests per target urls from all plugins are attempted this one will surely alert the target about your activities then moving forward we're actually going down to see what we need here is example of usage so for example your target is example.com you input what web and your a website and that is how to use what web then if you want to scan two websites with the verbose option this verbose option is important it output your result in a different format so we're going to see how to use that as well these are just examples on how we can use what web to scan a domain name which is a website and ip addresses so in this example we have what web verbose and a then three before the ip address let's quickly find out what dash v and dash a stands for so i go back to kalinos we have seen before that dash v is the verbose then let's find out what the dash a does the dash a is used to indicate the level of aggression so level one is the stilty level three is the aggressive and level four is the heavy so in this example level three is used which is the aggressive and this is the ip address that is being scanned so let's quickly go back to kalinos and see what we can do with this 
So let's start with the simple example. So I'm going to say what web example. Here I'm using example.com. You have to change example.com. That is the website you are trying to gather information about. So I'm going to hit enter. And here I have an error message. Error opening port these days. So what does this mean? You don't need to worry. We are in the age of AI. So we're going to use AI to find out what the problem is. So I'll simply copy this. Copy selection. And I'll go to my browser. I'll simply go to open AI. And this is what I'm going to do. I simply paste that error. And this is what I'm going to say. At the beginning here, I will say, then I go to the end of the quote. I will say. So this is what I need to put on ChatGPT. Then I'm going to send that. So let's see what we have here. The error message you're getting from WhatWeb means that the remote server actively refused the connection. Let's break it down. What connection reset by PM means is that it indicates that your machine successfully established a connection, which is good, but the remote server, example.com, forcefully closed the connection before it could be used. This usually happens at the TPC level and not due to DNS or routing issues. Possible causes. You don't have to know the exact reason why this is happening, but it's a good practice to go through it you might find a fix to it. Now here, look at this. This is where I'm interested. TLS, SSL misconfiguration. If using this, but specified as this. So I'm going to try with this fix, which is adding HTTPS to, to the website. So, so I simply go back to Kali Ninos, and I'm going to paste that paste from clipboard and you can see you have what web https then example.com so i'm going to try this now by saying enter and you can see we actually got a response 200 okay this is a http response code which means that we successfully loaded a page and this is the country, which is United States, and it tells us the IP address as well. And this is a few things we got from the domain. Every website has a different information. By adding HTTPS to our domain name, we've clearly solved this issue. Now let's check another website, which is .net, and we've got the same 200 OK, which is our HTTP response, and the country, and exactly the same thing from here. If you use a bigger website, you're going to have much information. So here is the result of using dash V. As you can see here, this is what dash V is able to do. It's going to arrange our result in an organized manner. Look at this detected plugins, HTML5. It tells you what that plugin is, in case you don't know. Then on common header, HTTP headers. So this is what dash V can do. Let's use something different apart from example.com. If I go to ChatGPT and I'll say this, what full functional web domain can I use for information gathering learning purpose with what web two? And here I have some results. This is one of them. And this is how to use it. If you go down here, you see other save domains for 
practice and i like this so let's take this i'll copy that then i'll come down here i want to paste this website and remember we need to add https in case so i'm going to hit enter now and again we have a result 200 okay cookies and the country then http server then let's repeat the same thing with Vaboose option dash v and hit enter so look at the result it's now outputted in a simple format and easy for us to understand so here are the dictated plugins the apache http server project is an effort to develop and maintain an open source http server for modern operating systems including unix and windows nt so another one is cookies http servers and java and the rest of them so this is what the Vaboose option can do for us and also here is the ip address and the country is united states in the next video we'll be trying to go deeply into what web and then trying some of the aggressive scanning we have seen like stealthy aggressive and heavy that's all for this video i will see you on the next one